It's okay. I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas. We are trying to find the investigator who was looking into the disappearance of a young bride-to-be. Sounds very similar to uh, another experience here that Boone had. But, uh, actually, let's see what the investigator has to say. See if he found anything, see if he's in on the conspiracy. So we got... Oh, that's why he hasn't checked out yet. Uh, yeah. Search the... Could this be any more stereotypical? Go! Oh! Like that. Oh, I don't have any weapons. This is bad. Can I beat this guy and take his cane? Alright, let's punch him in the face. Oh! He blocked. Uh, this is bad. Boone, what have you got? Are you doing okay over there? Oh, this is pretty bad. Hey, Traveler, you want to help me out here? Why can I not... There he is. I can't punch him in the face. Oh, gut punch. Oh, rabbit punch. Right in the back of the head. Okay, I'm getting beat. This is not good. Boone, how are you doing? Boone, you're not doing good. Boone, it's time to run. Uh, is there anything I can use? I think Boone's gonna die. Fine by me. I took all his weapons too. Can I pick something up in here? Wardrobe, wardrobe. Can I beat him with a toilet? Plunger? Oh, stop hitting me. Oh, Boone's dead! Boone is dead! Oh! Oh, this is bad. Oh. Aid. Um. Anything? Super stim pack? That'll keep me alive. A matchbook? Note added, matchbook. Get Ted back to his father if he's still alive. Boone, I'm so glad to see you alive. Okay, now we know that as soon as we walk in this door, we're going to be ambushed. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can use as a weapon. So, it would seem that we have to grab the matchbook and run for the hills. Got the matchbook, time to run. Boone, oh, let's go. Am I even go I'm not even going the right way. Boone, leave him alone. Maybe if I walk through the door, he'll come with me. Running through the bathhouse. Boone is with me. Awesome. They're all running, though. They're doing calisthenics. Uh, this isn't actually where we need to go. It says we're supposed to go south. Is there a door over here? There is. We're meeting him in the steam room? Oh no. Okay, they're just hitting Boone pretty hard. I just hit Boone. I just punched Boone. You like that? You like that? Uh. 
Boone. This is kind of bad. I think we have to kill these guys. Had enough? Use melee. Keep distance. Back up. Talk to you. Wait here. Use stim pack. I guess that's what we have to do. We just have to f fight our fight here. And my guy is super weak at unarmed fighting. This is not optimal. You like that? Why is he asking me if I like that? These people are friggin' weird. Okay, Boone's okay. He's not too mad that I punched him. So that's good. I have no idea what that noise was. That didn't sound good. I just punched that cane. That's gotta hurt. Like that. I really don't want to punch Boone. Oh, right in the neck! Had enough? I missed my you like critical that? punch. Boone, how are you doing? Boone, use some stim packs. It's a good thing we can use those so liberally. Uh, looks like I need to use them too. There we go. This dude's just chilling. Strike. I just punched a wall. I think Boone killed one. Yes. Alright, I am taking that cane. Boone, you're gonna take a cane too. How are you doing, Boone? Okay, his health's okay. I can actually take their mask. Might not be a half bad idea. Where's the other cane? I wanted to give it to Boone. Shoot, I pressed the wrong button. Dress cane is my only weapon. Alright, so I guess we need to... I was gonna give it to Boone, but honestly, I just don't see any more. Let's check out the note. Under data, matchbook. The f Steam room, 4 p.m. What time is it now? It is 2.10. So this guy's just fine with us killing those two dudes in front of him. He's just having a sauna right now. Boone, did you take the cane? There should be another cane. I don't know, maybe only one of them had a cane. I thought they both did. Whatever it is, I took it. So now we have to wait until 4 p.m. So it's 3.32. There are two dead bodies here. And we are in the steam room exactly where we're supposed to be. Now, we're not allowed to sit there, but we can sit here.
and we're waiting patiently. Very patiently. Chauncey. Hello, Chauncey. Who are you? Just someone who found a matchbook. Matchbook? What about the man I gave it to? He's dead. Oh my goodness me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So is Mortimer behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tours here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined <laughs> Uh, What are you supposed to discuss here? The girl, the one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. How do you know what happened to the girl? Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the White Gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. What about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. I'm trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Anything you can do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member, but I don't know that you've achieved the level of status that would gain the society's approval. Perhaps if you were to gain some more notoriety on the strip, we could get you in. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Any suggestions on how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging him. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Ted's father is a wealthy man. With his resources, this should be easy to stop. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. 
Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. All right, so I've got some objectives here. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? Oh my. All right, something's wrong here. An assassin. So yeah, Kane versus gun. Kane wins. But this also means we just got a gun in here. And eight rounds. Well, that's too bad about Chauncey. Boone, how are you doing? How's your health? Perfectly fine. He didn't take any damage somehow. So yeah, we've got assassins after us now. Don't mind anything in here, it's just the atmosphere they're hoping to promote. Just have a nice steam. Ugh. What is this, a broom? All right, so I have a few objectives here. Let's check out what options we do have. So yeah, under quests, find a sponsor to help you join the White Glove Society. Well, I could ask, heck, if I'm careful, drug the wine, that would get him out, but that wouldn't that wouldn't solve the problem. We need to get rid of Philippe and cook for the banquet using his recipe. We definitely have to find a way to gain access to the members only section and we have to get Ted back to his father if he's still alive. So yeah, by 7 o'clock that seems a little stretched for time but let's see if we can get a sponsor real quick that seems like the easiest way to get back there. I don't think sneaking is going to be the best. Tell me good news. Uh, <laughs> did you say something about a white glove? That's what they call themselves. Some of them got masks too. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Man, ah. Uh... I'll be here. I don't even know what to do here. I mean, maybe I can try to sneak? Use a, a stealth boy? 